So coming along in the pipeline are, are really two types of things. In the nearer future, we may see different types of formulations of drugs that are um, similar to or that al are already approved to treat aspects of TSC to see if they might be more effective against different aspects such as the facial angiofibromas and topical administration. So those are things that different uh, companies and different labs are working on to try to make even better. In a little bit longer term, uh, there's certainly the desire to find drugs that are, say, in the pipeline for epilepsy that might be exquisitely useful for some reason in people with TSC and might be really useful in that orphan population, if you will, because it's a rare disease. And then in the longer term is looking for new drugs. And to help with that, the TS Alliance has established a preclinical consortium that uh, has uh, licensed certain mouse models, one of which is in epilepsy, to standardize the testing in a rigorous and reproducible way of candidate molecules that may be treatments. And maybe there are drugs that are already in clinical trials, so they could be re for something else, and they could be repurposed for TSC. Or maybe they're early stage drugs, and we don't know what they might be useful for, but there's a scientific rationale so they could be tested in TSC. And this is a way to, to give both academic investigators and industry uh, investigators an opportunity to test drugs in specific, uh, highly reproducible TSC models without the need to set up those models on their own and, and do it all from scratch. So by doing it as a consortium, uh, we have that ability to do both compounds for which the data will be made public, or we can do compounds under confidentiality agreements and have them run for companies, for example, where only they see the data.